Have you ever wondered how those girls wake up at 5 a.m.? Growing up, I have always strived to be a morning person and I have narrowed it down to the T. These night routine habits will change your life. Hey y'all, it's your girl Rezzy. If you're new here, I help you close the gap from your reality to your desired self on this channel. So if you want to set yourself up for success, let's go ahead and get into the tips because I'm so ready to tell you. Okay, so starting off with tip number one, consistent bedtime. That means on the weekends, on the weekdays, consistent bedtime. If you're going to go to bed at 9 p.m. so that you can wake up at 5 a.m. every single day. I kid you not, this literally works like clockwork. You'll be getting up before your alarm. A consistent bedtime routine trains your brain. It's really good for sleep. Make sure that you're getting enough rest. Getting enough rest is very important so that you can actually think and thoroughly process materials sleeping enough will help you to understand that information and recall it a lot quicker we want to build a healthy productive morning routine and that starts up by not just waking up at any time we feel like it just by simply going to bed earlier okay getting into the next step we have to plan for tomorrow planning our clothes our gym outfit these things are so important setting a plan making a to-do list i know like Nine times out of ten, if I don't make a to-do list for my day or if I don't make a plan for tomorrow, my day is literally going to be doomed. Why? Because I'm going through all this stress and overwhelming myself with how many tasks I have to get done. I didn't plan this overnight. I have to literally waste time in the morning picking out a gym outfit. I have to make myself my lunch. I have to make like all this stuff comes down to time management. You make time for everything else, but you don't make time for yourself. Take the time out to plan for your day, for your week, for your tomorrow. Get a planner. I just bought a planner from Target. It is so fire and it's so cute. Let me go ahead and show you. This is what I mean by planning. Get you a planner, get you an agenda. Also bought some pens to match. Planner, it's really important so you don't have to waste time in the morning being stressed, being overwhelmed with things that could have been taken care of during the night this is super crucial if you want to get a good night's rest and that's to limit caffeine after 3 p.m after 3 you're going to stay up our goal is to go to sleep or even alcohol near your bedtime you're going to be completely thrown off alcohol first of all that's a whole nother thing but caffeine keeps you up and we in order to go to sleep you need to be in a relaxed mode caffeine increases your energy and keeps your brain on when we turn our brain off you know like if you wake up at 12 p.m during your day or even like on the weekend you literally missed half of the day step number four we're going to start winding down calming yourself down winding yourself down i try to always do this before i go to bed winding myself down drinking some tea relaxing journaling using my five minute journal relaxing just disconnecting from the world is just so important so that you can lock in into your inner self your inner peace this will literally help with your melatonin we do not need melatonin spray if we can literally disconnect from the world before we go to bed two hours before we go to bed no phone put you in a state of mind of mindfulness and when we go to sleep we're missing on that part disconnect from the screens it interferes with the production of melatonin and melatonin regulates your sleep levels if you're not getting enough melatonin you're not gonna sleep you know why we have all these people spraying melatonin giving melatonin to their kids what they shouldn't be doing making melatonin drinks is because people just are forcing themselves to sleep because they're not disconnecting from the world you need to disconnect from the world put your phones down pick up a book or pick up a journal whatever you're doing or relax your mind stretch before you go to bed because it's important so that you can have a good sleep a good sleep is so crucial so that you can think for your career for for yourself so that you can be have energy in the morning we shouldn't always rely on coffee or caffeine to keep give us energy that is what sleep is for believe it or not we have everything we need to be energetic already we just have to stop decreasing that naturalness by drowning it 
and caffeinated drinks because we're not getting enough sleep. because as you can see in my latest videos i have been slowly but surely making my room more of a room that i want to be in yes i have work zones in my room however my bed is for bed i don't edit on my bed I try not to do like work on my bed at all because I'm not in my own space and I can't have that room as an office and that room there. I try to make zones in my room. Okay, this zone is for trying hauls. This zone is for thinking. This zone is for working. This zone, but this bed right here is meant for sleeping. Okay, there's no work done on this bed. None. Do work zones like that. When you do go to your desk, you can actually work. When you actually get in your bed, you can actually sleep. There are people like... You could be one of those people that do work in their bed, that study in their bed. That is ruining your sleep because little do you know in your subconscious, your brain is like, okay, I do work here. You do work at a desk or at a table. Why? Because working in your bed ruins your sleep. Work zones are so important. Make your bed room for sleep only. Sleep only. And you know what I love to do right before I go to bed is take a nice hot shower. That gets me right there. And I do like my self-care rituals, oils, exfoliating, shaving, and just taking a nice hot shower before I go to bed literally winds me all the way down. That way when I get in bed, I literally go sleep like a baby, okay? Taking a nice hot shower or, you know, doing doing your self-care regimen before you go to bed is really important. Your skincare, your oral hygiene, all of those things matter before you go to bed. And that will actually help you set yourself up for success because when you wake up and you go to the gym, you're already showered. You can literally just throw your gym outfit on and head out the door. The quicker and easier it is to get your morning started, even though your night routine may be a little bit longer, the quicker and easier, easier your morning gets started, the more tasks you can do the more goals you can do the more social life you can have because if you could just master these things and the time management you'll be able to get a lot of things done in your day i personally love the morning i'm not really a night owl at night i set myself up for success setting a self-care for a it could be controversial i don't know but is to have a relaxing soothing alarm okay when I wake up, sometimes I wake up angry just because of my alarm and I don't want to get up. But if I have like a soft tone alarm, sometimes I won't even get up because it's too soft. And the past has worked for me where I have an alarm where I can wake up to. Like my Alexa, she plays like soft jazz instrumental music. I have music like that I can wake up to and I can feel like I'm, ranf I'm romanticizing my life. I feel so feminine. I feel so, you know grateful and passionate about you know waking up and being energized and if you have an alarm that you genuinely hate waking up to you're not gonna wake up so i advise changing your alarm to not the alarm dun, dun, dun. the iphone alarm change that because another reason why you're waking up in a grumpy mood and you're literally slowing and wasting your time in your day. It literally could just be because your alarm is literally when you wake up, you're shocked and you're not waking up slowly. Changing your alarm is a huge factor in setting up yourself up for success. I really hope all these tips helped. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's more to see in my playlist of steps to become your dream woman right here Thanks for watching. All the tips will be in the description box. Please comment down below with some more tips so we can also as a community gain more, even more advice. Be sure to give it a like for more videos like this and I will see y'all in the next one. Love y'all.